Good morning, YouTubers, or whatever it is to you. It's morning here in Puerto Rico. It's 8.30. We got some windsurfers and surfers out there. The water's looking cool, calm, and collective. I think me and the wife are going to take an early walk on the beach this morning. And um, enjoy our 15th day here living in Puerto Rico. Gonna get on and check my cryptocurrencies real quick. Looks like Bitcoin just closed above a very crucial mark, which looks pretty good. And it looks like the stock market is also gonna take a, a little bit more of a lift. Hope you are stacking and slacking. guys are looking for shells from Puerto Rico, maybe you want some sand from Puerto Rico, uh, maybe you want some beach glass from Puerto Rico, you know, don't be afraid to use me as a source to uh, get things to you if you're interested in, um, you know, collecting stuff. I know we do have our collectors out there, um, so if you are a collector and you're on the Patreon, send me a message and let me know what you want. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted as we walk on the beautiful beach of Vega Baja here in Puerto Rico. Got the little islands out there. One of these days I will kayak or swim out there and check out that view. Or maybe I do it with y'all live. sensor he's like looking for you to get closer to put your finger on him so he can oh my god he knows you're there and you're not even touching him Look, that is incredible we got her check him with the glasses just a little bit and i'll like uh, put the glasses you know <laughs> no touch him with the glasses with me that's what i'm saying oh touch yeah, him yeah 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 he knows it. Wow, he's got purple in him, babe. See that? Closer and he aims right at your knee with his pointer. That is a wild creature, and I have a little bit of him in the bottom of my foot. Oh my god, they're going nuts! He's moving. He didn't like that rock. He's on the move. He is moving. Wow. That's the amazing. red. The red. I think you made him mad. He was really mad. He was on this rock. Fuck that. <laughs> so peaceful. This is generally speaking how if you you can easily find a beach with nobody on it here in Puerto Rico. This is a normal thing. There are plenty of beaches with people, especially in the bigger cities, but there are definitely beaches where you can find nobody if you just want absolute beach peace. I actually walk 
parked out here. Standing on some rock. A sheep entered off even further. I'm still being cautious with my sea urchin spine, which has gotten incredibly better. And my body has basically sucked it in and I have become a sea urchin. And uh, little to no irritation and hopefully it continues to heal. One really cool thing here in Puerto Rico is when you do get these little rocky beaches, they actually create like a saltwater fish tank each like foot. Like each foot you go, you'll see different creatures and different fish, crabs and all kinds of things in it. And then you go to the next so-called fish tank and then the next fish tank and the next fish tank. There's like thousands of little saltwater fish tanks out here. And the greatest thing about it is you don't have to pay for any of it. It's all, uh, it just does its own thing. <laughs> and you can just come out here and visit it. You don't need a saltwater fish tank. Check this out, we'll go underwater, give y'all some underwater action again. Oh, I see, ain't he? <laughs> they got me mad as hell. Look at this. Yeah, these two crabs are doing it. I didn't know they were doing it. No wonder he's mad as hell. I think they're doing it. Whoa, that guy just went under. Unburied him and he didn't like that. All the fish. Look at that. Mad. He's dancing. Want some of this? <laughs> <laughs> And what's going on guys? We just got a phone call 
Probably one of the best phone calls we could have got all week. They are ready for us to come get our medical cannabis cards up at the doctor. So we set up an appointment on Friday and we're gonna go scoop up our doctor cannabis cards for the island here in Puerto Rico. That way we can smoke in peace. Those things do not look friendly. The view from the kitchen table. All right, guys, check out this epic little river here that I am about to fish in. That is right. I haven't got to fish in a while, and I figured I've been itching to get down here. I don't even know if this is actually a place to fish or if we're gonna catch anything. It's right off the side of this road here. I parked right down the street. You'll see a, you'll see a lot of this in Puerto Rico too, where uh, people will just park on the side of the road, and that's totally normal here in Puerto Rico. And uh, of course, you got little side fishing holes, and people uh, people I've, I've seen a couple people already in this one um, when I've drove when I've drove by recently. So I was like, dude, I gotta come by. And I mean, those that's just begging for fish to be out here so we're gonna check it out and I got the other side that I believe goes out into the ocean and I don't really see anything in the water but that doesn't mean that nothing's in there let's check it out shall we Alright guys, I gotta rewire my fishing pole because last time I was in the salt water I got it stuck.
gotta be very cautious when you're crossing the road always always in Puerto Rico look both ways always all right guys I'm gonna put you down and y'all are gonna watch me fish All right, guys, I think I need to change bait, change lure. I see three fish down there, and two of them are actually hitting the bait. They're just not taking it. They're, like, picking at it, and they're, I think they don't know what it is. They've never seen it before. Uh, so I'm going to go change bait. I should have just brought the tackle box with me, but shit, I see fish. Uh, looks like a Guadalupe bass or something. Very beautiful. And uh, I'm going to see if we can't catch him. five or six fish down there and they're all just telling my lure to fuck off.
All right, guys, no luck on catching any fish, but they are sure down there. Uh, I don't know what I'm, I gotta do some research. So if you're in Puerto Rico, let me know some tips on some inshore fishing on what you guys use for for bait. I'm pretty sure live, live bait probably will work the best, but I was just coming out here with some plastic lures to see how that would do. And I didn't fail, fare very well, so uh, gonna have to research, find out some more information, and that way we can gear up to go master these little coves and freshwater fishing areas here in Puerto Rico. So, uh, fishing adventure complete for the day. Now I need to go back in town and try to find some pina colada mix. All right, guys, we're back at the house and we got some pineapple juice and some cream of coconut and coconut milk. And we're gonna make a little pina colada action. I uh, wish I had a little bit better ingredients, but on a Tuesday, like I said, Puerto Rico is chilling like a villain and there's not much out, so. Benavidos, another epic sauce rooftop sunset. Oh, are you looking at that? Oh, my Jesus. She is good looking on that sunset. All right, guys, we'll talk and wrap up as we watch the epic sauce sunset go back in the background there. So, pina colada here, rooftop sunset, Puerto Rico, really can't get no better. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Please, if you are not a subscriber, I would really appreciate your support and your subscription to the channel. This channel is a, a vlog here in Puerto Rico that's going to be happening every day. I want to share my experience in Puerto Rico with everybody, people who are maybe interested in getting off the, uh, this out of the States and living their life more freely, more uh, self-reliant, more independent. Uh, and I want to be a resource for anybody who may want to travel out here, has, has any questions about what it's like to travel here or maybe live here. Uh, so please share these videos, please subscribe, please like, comment, all those things. All those things are uh, supporting this channel. It's just as simple as a like, comment, and a share. So I really appreciate it everybody thank you so much for your support if you want to support me even further you can be a patreon and the patreons have all kinds of uh, benefits that you can uh, jump in our private discord chat and chat with me firsthand there uh, i can send a bunch of stuff back uh, from puerto rico to you if there's stuff here in puerto rico you want me to go get from the store or maybe you like beach glass uh, uh, treasures from the beach something that you want me to get and send back to you you can also do that through the patreon but i have seen a lot of things happening lately uh, not only back in my home state but in the rest of the states too 
Uh, I just feel so bad for the people who are getting caught up in this divide and conquer and people are going to start pointing the finger back and forth again about who they're supporting, whether it be uh, you know, the right or the left and it's just so sad to see that at the end of the day they're both the same and people are getting caught up in the divide and the conquer and, 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 I, and I, I urge you to turn off the TV and stay away from that mess and that garbage that is the mainstream, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, they are all the same. Research Operation Mockingbird, okay? So, uh, here in Puerto Rico, day 15, it's been awesome. We went for a little fishing, uh, picked up some things at the grocery store, and did a lot of stuff here at the house, really. You know, I got a late start to the day. Tuesday, we laid around until about 7.30, 8 in the morning, which is which is lazy for me. Uh, usually, I'm up and at it at 5.30, so. And, uh, you know, uh, got a lot of work done on the computer today. I watched the cryptocurrencies. I was watching the stock market. If you got some of those alerts, it did exactly what we were saying. So, I... Uh, yeah, if you guys want to live more free and independent, uh, get involved in the cryptocurrencies like I've been saying. There's a bunch of links and referrals that I can give you guys. If you don't want them, that's fine too. You can uh, sign up a, a bunch of different ways to make free cryptocurrency online. Uh, if you guys, I, I know you guys <clears throat> are going to see the vlogs every day. If you guys want me to start doing a video every day on maybe a hot topic that's going on or recent news or maybe some police brutality or something like I used to drop a comment as well I want to know what you guys may want to see more on this channel is there something that you guys want me to go visit in Puerto Rico uh, drop some comments below tell me what it is that you want to see here on the channel is it uh, maybe some activism that is going on in the states do you want me to highlight some of that stuff do you want me to highlight some of the corruption that's going on um, soon on this channel I, I know I've been really quiet on the activism stuff but soon that is all gonna start picking back up here on this channel and it's gonna be coming from here in Puerto Rico I, I have this just really good feeling that you are going to see a lot of activism on this channel right here in Puerto Rico so I have been slowly just working my way into it which I believe is really smart I've been listening to people uh, people have been giving me advice I've been researching studying uh, I don't want to just jump into it and, and be ignorant to what is going on I want to know I want to be educated and uh, I want some guidance from the people who have experience here in fighting this corruption and going about this process. I'm talking to a couple people and uh, hear me out. If you were in Puerto Rico and you're interested in doing some activism this weekend, uh, I believe, and I'm gonna get some more information on it, I've briefly started talking to people, but the curfew today has been uh, raised until 10 o'clock, so now you can stay out until 10 o'clock until the, the king or the queen says you have to go inside your house like a good slave but we want to test that curfew we want to stand up against this curfew and I believe we are going to plan on doing that here very shortly so if you're in Puerto Rico and you want to put an end to this curfew please comment below or if you don't want your name known that's fine please write me an email so it can be private we're putting together something here in the next week or two where we're gonna go out and break this curfew on purpose and say nah it's gonna be a, a Rosa Parks type of curfew breaking and uh, we're gonna call it nah that's what we're gonna do so I appreciate y'all tuning in I appreciate y'all subscribing I appreciate your liking I appreciate your comments and I appreciate all the support from the Patreon page. Pina Colada. <sighs> Y'all stay blessed.
uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but that was the end of day 15's vlog. Time to make some dinner. Bye.